is general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Okay, Gemini's, I feel that there's someone who's returning back to you, someone who you left out in the call. You could have left them out in the call. There could have been a separation, a break, a breakup, but someone from your past is returning back to you after a period of isolation and now they want a reconciliation. This could have happened or if you haven't, then this is going to come in, okay? However, I feel that there is going to be a false start between you guys. Either there is a false start, something it's going to stop quickly and quickly or there's a lack of passion is what I'm saying. Someone's losing the passion and the interest out here, okay? There could be someone here who was super passionate about this relationship once and someone could have just lost their interest all of a sudden, okay? Probably this break, whatever it was, it could have made someone realize a lot of things. But um, I feel it's going to be like a delay in a brand new passionate beginning or it's just a missed opportunity, okay? I'm getting more like someone's not feeling it, all right? Someone's not feeling it. Still, there could be an energy of someone who's just wanting fun without commitment. I'm not getting so much fun here, but I'm getting someone who's just not ready for a commitment or who cannot be in a commitment or who doesn't want to be in a commitment, okay? Mm, your challenge is the moon in reverse. So your challenge is to stop having getting clarity okay your challenge is not to live in illusions anymore okay you're probably someone's ignoring their emotions and feelings out here probably could be someone who's blocking their intuition too but what i'm getting out here is that um you need to get clear about what you want to give whatever is hidden if there are any feelings and emotions that are hidden right feelings need to come out okay someone's too closed off is what i'm getting I feel this is someone whose intuition is blocked this time. This could be someone who has always been thinking about this very intuitively or someone who's always been using their intuition, but this time they're blocking their intuition. They're not letting things flow is what I'm saying, you know. I feel someone's using their logic or listening to other people's opinions this time and uh, they're not using their intuition. They're using the logic or they're just thinking about things in a way that they haven't thought before. And that is not in alignment with their intuition if I'm making sense. But there's definitely a delay in a beginning here, in a brand new beginning here, okay? It's like that punch is not there yet in the relationship. You love them, they love you. This is a soulmate connection, okay? There is mutual love between you guys. You want a relationship with this person. They want it too, okay? The reason for why this is happening is because finally, I feel someone's mastered their emotions, okay? You know what? I think Gemini, you've mastered your emotions, okay? There's probably been a hundred times when you could have jumped into this relationship, okay? And every single time your emotions were, you know, unstable or you were emotionally unavailable, okay? I'm getting more of emotions unstable, okay? You probably got too emotional about a situation or you got too logical, stuff like that, okay? You want this. You want this with this person, okay? But the thing is that this time you've mastered your emotions and I think what is happening is this time you're not trusting your intuition, but because it's like, you know what, for you, it's like every single time I trust my intuition and it's just a fucking false start. And you this time are very, very hell-bent on not wanting a relationship. If it's not with a commitment, I don't want it is what I'm getting. So in the past, I feel that things could have moved very, very fast, okay? There could have been a lot of communication between you and this person, okay? Things could have, uh, there could have been a lot of forward movement, a lot of progression in this relationship, could be an online relationship, okay? Could be someone you're dating online, this person could be at a distance from you, but you are manifesting this, okay? A lot, a lot. But I feel in the near future, I'm feeling with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here again. I'm hearing you're not settling for anything less. That's why there's not a brand new beginning here. That's why you're closing off your emotions. You're closing off your um, intuition. It could also be that... Um, You know, the moon in reverse, it's like a getting clarity. I think you're not getting clarity about a situation. You love this person, they love you, right? Emotional emotions are there. Hands down, emotions are there. 
But I'm getting that every single time you get to this person, you moved on with this person without getting clarity. All right. So that's why it was always a false start. And again, it's coming to the same thing. Again, when this person is returning to you from the cold, from the dark, all right, and they want a reconciliation with you, this person could have ghosted you, all right, you're starting a brand new chapter with this person. You could have ended a cycle with this person and you're starting something brand new with this person. But what I'm getting is that this time you're mastered your emotions is what I'm getting. You're going to be very, very balanced here. This time you're not like, you know, like, all right, you know what, like, let's do this. And like, no, 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 no. You know what, I've done this, been there, done that. And this time I'm going to be very, very careful. All right. After getting cautious, I'm getting more like, all right, I know how this guy operates. So I know how this girl operates. All right. And this time I'm not falling for it. Okay. I'm not going to let my emotions be unstabilized and just get into something because I fell for it in the past. And now I'm going to be very, very careful. Okay. You're not settling for anything less is what I'm getting because you, you want to stand up for yourself. I feel you're, you're definitely like, it's like the five of swords is not always an energy of mind games, but it's someone who's wanting to take their power back is what I'm getting. Okay. Yes. This is someone very, very stubborn, vengeful manipulation. You could be, you could be manipulating the situation. Okay. You could be like, you know what? Trying to play games with this person, not in a bad way, but almost like, you know what? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can do this. But then, you know what? You know what I want. And if I don't get it, then we're not having this beginning here is what I'm getting. This is definitely someone from your past, but someone who you left out in the cold, someone you had a separation or were on a break with. Okay. Because there is still a lack of stability and security. Your relationship is still not reaching that point of stability and security or commitment that you want. And I feel you, my friend, are wanting to take your power back. You're like, you know what? I'm done. <clears throat> you know what it's almost like yes the relationship is coming in this could be self-sabotage okay you're trying to sabotage this relationship on purpose why because you want what you want and you're not settling for anything less you know what you deserve and you're not settling for anything less for you it's like when there is love right when there is the love and there's everything that you have then why is not why is the stability not coming in right and it's like this time around, again, you're stopping this from a brand new beginning. I'm feeling you're not putting in your 100%. You're not putting in all your passion and emotions. You're withdrawing your emotions. You're not really feeling the connection that you always did. And it's all because either there has been clarity, something has come out in the open, or you're blocking your intuition. It could be any one of them. Maybe there has been something that has been revealed, okay? I'm feeling that maybe the other way of looking at it this that there is a, a lack there is a, a there is a delay in this new beginning in this clean slate is because you are you don't have the fear of the unknown anymore maybe earlier you were fearing that what if this person leaves you had a lot of fear of the unknown you had a lot of fear of what you didn't know okay what if this person leaves a lot of insecurities is what i'm hearing but i feel that now you're very secure about yourself and now it's like when this time come, when this person comes back around this time you're like no Yes, I do love you. Yes, I want a relationship with you. But I want the entire package. If I don't get the entire package, there is no start here. And I think you're going to be super, super stubborn about this is what I'm getting. This person definitely wants an olive branch, okay? They want to offer you an olive branch. They want a peaceful resolution, okay? And they're going to communicate to you and they're going to try and get the, get this thing to get off ground, okay? But you're losing interest and passion again and again, again and again. I'm getting, I'm feeling, you know what? I'm feeling that every single time you could have been the one who's always been the action taker. You've always been the one who's been very passionate about this relationship and this person was holding back. This time, you're being, you're losing the passion and interest. Okay. It's more like you're not taking action. You're being cold and you're being, could be playing head games. I am getting Gemini that you're playing head games out here. If not you, the opposite person is. Okay. Not in a bad way, but in a way that you know what, like you need to know what I really want, bro. You know? I feel that you're just going to sit back and let things happen. I'm almost getting like, you know what? All right, you love me? Come get me. And if you want me, then this is how it is. And if it's not like this, then I am doing shit. Like, I'm taking a step back. Like, I got my own shit to do. I'm not investing my energies in this anymore. And do what you're holding on hard. Because the likely outcome, you have the strength here, okay? Something is going to take a lot of stamina and courage and strength to hold back from, okay? You're holding back. You're trying to tame your emotions is what I'm getting, Gemini, okay? This is too much holding back, but it's a good thing, okay? You're trying to train the situation. 
you feel that you can try to control this by restraining yourself restricting yourself okay and um I'm getting you, you, you know what I'm getting? You're holding yourself back from being vulnerable this time. Okay, maybe you could have always been the one. For you, it's like when there is everything, then why isn't this moving forward? You've even stopped manifesting this, I'm I'm assuming. And it's all because of the commitment issue, okay? It's like, you know what? I am done. There cannot be any more false starts. And I don't have the fear of the unknown anymore. I want what I want and that's how I like it. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. That was a badass reading. Uh, I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.